Namaste, my friends. My name is Daryl, and welcome to Safe Living. In this episode, we're going to be talking about ASTAM F446-19, which is structural strength grab bar testing. So let's get going. So why was a structural strength grab bar test created? The Consumer Safety uh, Commission had done a lot of data analysis, really they got it from the CDC, and they found that there were a lot of falls in the bathroom area, whether it was through transfers, getting in and out of showers, getting up from a commode, um, and they wanted to make sure that there was a safety specifications on fasteners, grab bars and accessories in the bathing areas. One of the things that I wanna talk about is the ADA standards for accessible design. These standards were uh, specifically focused on ensuring that buildings and facilities are accessible for people with disabilities. Um, they do not cover residential, but they are a great guide if you're doing any home modifications or really trying to understand what they felt were best for people in public environments, uh, it's a great guideline to go by. So there's two areas that I wanna talk about in, as it relates to grab bars. And the first one is um, 609.2.1 really talks about the diameter of any grab bar. So in a public environment, um, the only size grab bars you can have the minimum and the maximum is minimum of one and a quarter inch in diameter and a maximum of two. So in my house, I, I use that size. Um, and sometimes you'll see that I'll use um, smaller diameters, uh, which are really used on toilet paper grab bars or small safety handles. I call them, they're about 12 inches long and those might be down to one inch. The next thing I wanna talk about is structural strength. The ADA guidelines talks about structural strength and that it meet, needs to meet a, a, a stress of 250 pounds, whether that's horizontal or vertically. Um, and that includes the grab bar, the fastener, the substrate, or any supporting structure. So those are the only two things uh, that I really wanted to talk about in this area. And again, this does not have anything to do with residential. So why do I talk about the ASTA method? Uh, the reason I talk about this method is, is that the ADI never tells you how to test a grab bar up to 250 pounds. So I wanted to make sure that when we're doing all this analysis and looking at all these different grab bars that companies are selling online telling you they're going to meet all these weight requirements, I wanted to be able to compare everything and then be able to feed it back to you. So that's why I've used this method. So let's do a quick review of the test method. The test method just requires that the grab bars are attached to the wall section. And they wanna make sure that this wall section meets all the standard building construction codes. So in residential, um, you know, we'll talk about all that and that all the suitable fasteners or products that you're following all the manufacturer's instructions. Number two, um, when the bar is mounted and most of my uh, grab bars are mounted horizontally, um, you need to apply a, a, a downward load of at least 250 pounds continuously or in 50, five to 50 pound increments. Um, and that's gotta be over a three and a half inch span on the grab bar, uh, which we do with, you'll see on that. Um, so that's that. And then there's a time specification. So the weight should be applied within a 30 minute period. And once you meet that 250 pound requirement, it should then remain there for five more minutes uh, before it's a pass or a fail scenario. And then the bar or wall shall not break or fail under the load, and that means anything. That could be the, the substrate itself, whether it's the backer board, the tile, the, um, the, the adhesive, if there's an adhesive involved, or the attachment methods or the anchors. So let's talk about what I did initially. So this is my initial setup. So I thought this would be really simple. I would just build this box, the, 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 the weight on the box and the chain, and this was 20 pounds. Uh, and then what I would do is I would load these 50 pound ca uh, scale calibration weights in there. And these are 15 pounds. So this gave me between the box and these two barbells here, that was 50 pounds. And then I added four more planes. 
The problem I had is as I was adding this, this thing would be tilting to the left or to the right, depending on what I added the weight. And then not only that, I found in a lot of cases that the grab bars weren't even meeting the standard specifications. Um, so this was my new setup and I did only residential. Uh, and again, two by four studs, 16 inches on center, which is standard um, building code in the US. Uh, I also used two by sixes up here as wall blocking. I highly recommend that you watch my previous video on wall blocking uh, because by far, I'll just give you, that is the best way to attach a grab bar to anything. Make sure that it's you know to the wood stud and preferably to blocking because you have more than an inch and a half width to, to connect to. Uh, we also tested on plywood, which is right here. That's another blocking um, method and that's also discussed in another video. And then here down below, we have a scissor jack. And then this is my Amada digital force gauge. This is a 100, 1100 pound meter push pull force gauge that we're able to quantify the results. Then the next thing we did is the wall based material is half inch sheetrock or cement backer board or foam core backer board, which is the new trend out there now and a lot of other things that will be tested. Then we tile a uh, surface tile, the grout onto the um, whatever the substrate is, and then we grout. And then we have multiple video recording going on. We have one at the scale, one on the top, one in the front, and then one behind if we have anchoring systems that we're looking at. So let's talk about what my procedure is. Uh, we install the grab bar first. We follow the manufacturer's specifications, and that could be the grab bar and or fasteners, depending on how we're doing it. We load the first 50 pounds to the bar, and we hold for three minutes. We continue to add in 50 pound increments and hold for three minutes until we reach the 250 target. Then we hold the target weight for five, um, for five minutes. Sometimes I want to determine the failure point and I want to increase the weight. Uh, and I do that sometimes because I see some of these manufacturers out there on the internet stating that their items can hold more than I know they can hold. And I just want to prove one way or the other whether or not they're telling you the truth or if they've actually tested it. So here, this is just a standard grab bar screwed into wood blocking. So without anything, we want to know how much weight that can hold. This by far is your strongest application. Second, we take a grab bar, we follow the manufacturer specifications, screw it in with the anchors. Then we max the load and you can see here as we're pulling down, the grab bar is actually starting to pull right out of the wall. Um, and then you can see here's the anchors and the damage within the grab bar itself. Second, here we've got, again, standard suction cup grab bar. Then here we're sliding down the wall and with minimal weight, not even 70 pounds, once it hits the grout line, pop, off it goes. In summary, the ADA standard does not specify how to test a grab bar up to the 250 pound requirement. The ASTAM method F446-19 standard includes a unique test specifically for grab bars and this is the only test that I have found and that's why I use it. It's very important to note that I'm not a certified laboratory, I'm just a guy in a garage. <clears throat> and my test was designed to adhere to the criteria outlined in this test method. Um, again, that's similar to the ASTM 446-19. And the only reason I did this is this approach enables a quantitative assessment of numerous variables that I'm gonna be testing as I roll this out. So if you have any questions or any comments or you even want me to test a grab bar uh, on any type of surface or any type of fasteners, um, if I have enough requests, I'll be able to do that as well. I'm not sure how long I'm going to have this set up in my garage. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. But please, any questions or comments, just put them below. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.